Well, first of all, let's thank the greatest House of Delegate member we have in Martina. And let's hear from him. Give him a great round of applause. And first of all, all of you, thank you. I appreciate you coming tonight. This is the end of the Asian American Pacific Islander. This is a great month we've had. And we have had, we're executive, we have had some great experiences. The Filipina Festival, walking through the Eden Center, the Punjabi, uh, 10,000 folks at the Punjabi Festival on Sunday. And Punjabi, big Punjabi. Big Virginia. Big Virginia. But it's been a spectacular. Uh, as you know, uh, when I was chairman of the Democratic National Committee, the AAPI was a like a club organization. I changed all the rules, the first national party chairman to do it, to actually give full membership to the AAPI. Um, it, was, it was proud to appoint more members of the AAPI than any chairman in the Democratic Party's history. I was proud to do it. It was important. I myself have spent a lot of time, as you know, traveling throughout Asia. I am proud to say I was President Clinton's first appointment, first ambassadorial appointment after he was elected President of the United States. I actually went over and had a trade mission, the Tejon Expo over in South Korea, and spent nearly a year of my life over there. It was spectacular. Uh, I am a fighter for the Asian American Pacific Islander community. I did it as DNC chairman. I did it when I had the opportunity. And I promise you this, folks, I will do it as governor to make sure I I, I will make sure that I have the most diverse government, the most diverse cabinet in the history of Virginia. And it's important because I have a mission as governor. I've got to grow our economy. I got to create jobs. We have a lot of issues with Virginia with the cuts in defense, with the cut with sequestration. And I think sequestration on September 30, they're going to vote for it again for another year. That's going to have a big impact on us. We need a governor that's going to get out of bed every single day fighting for folks, creating jobs, creating economic opportunity. I have been in business most of my life. I did start, as Mark said, my first business when I was 14 because I was going to have to help pay for college. And if I didn't start working, I don't know if I was going to go. But I have been in many different. I was our nation's youngest bank chairman at 30. I've been in home building, built you know, thousands of homes. I've been in a variety of different businesses. You want a governor who's going to bring you a practical business approach, common sense, bipartisan, working together with both sides to get things done. As in order to do that, as I say, I was glad to work and I want to commend Governor Bob McDonald because he put a transportation bill out there for the first time in 27 years we have funding for it and I want to commend the Democrats and the Republicans for the first time we now have some real transportation funding to move Virginia forward and give Mark a great round of applause for working. But what I think about is how do we grow this economy? How do we become the leaders in cybersecurity? Nanosciences, bio life sciences. How do we become the leader of that? We've got to make Virginia an open and welcoming state. This is probably the starkest contrast between two candidates running for governor in probably the Commonwealth's history, if, if not in the history of the United States of America. I'm about jobs, economic development. My opponent has spent his entire career dividing people on a social ideological agenda. It is not helpful, folks, to be attacking women to attack, attacking folks based upon sexual orientation, attacking folks and trying to pass legislation. Mark knows that if you speak anything besides English in the workplace, you can be fired for that. You have to speak English. Anything else, you can be fired with no benefits. Folks, that's not a message we want to send. I'm about uniting folks, bringing people together. I talk about education constantly. We have issues that we have to deal with in Virginia. If you take average Virginia pay to average teacher pay, do you know where we rank in America? We're 50th. We're dead last. We can't grow an economy unless we're making sure we have the best qualified teachers. I've called for a total reform for the parents in this room and some of the students, a total reform of the SOLs. They don't work today in the present. We need to change it. Is 100 percent. In fact, as you know, he is the uh, first person to sue uh, President Obama on health care. He also calls our president the most, his administration, the most corrupt administration in our nation's history. You know, you don't get things done by calling people names. You get things done by uniting folks and bringing them together. But he is 100 percent against the Medicaid expansion. Let me be crystal clear: as governor, we will accept the Medicaid expansion here. In 
cover 400,000 Virginians. It's paid for 100% by the federal government for three years, 90% every year thereafter. We will be able to bring $21 billion back to Virginia over the course of the next seven years, rolling through our economy. Doctors, nurses, home health care providers. It'll help us reform our entire health care delivery system, and it will create over 30,000 jobs. These are the things that I think about every single day. These are the things I focus on. I want to, as governor, make sure we are open, we're welcoming to everybody. As you know, my opponent, one of his first things he did as attorney general was to send a letter to every college and university to take away any protections against discrimination at the colleges and universities for professors and students based upon sexual orientation. How do you expect me as governor to compete against 200 nations in 49 states? How can we lure those scientists the folks, the cyber warriors from Silicon Valley, to come to Virginia when we're putting walls up around Virginia. We can't. So, as governor, I'm going to focus, I'm going to work for you every single day, creating jobs. Dorothy and I have lived in Northern Virginia for 21 years, gone to the same church for 21 years. We have five children. I want my five children to stay here, but in order to stay here, we got to have 21st century jobs, transportation, education, and health care. That's why I'm running for governor. We're the best place to do business best place to raise a family, and I want to continue the traditions we had with Mark Warner and Tim Kaine to take Virginia to the next level. So that's right.